just another day just another walk stroll man stroll on through push on through start off slow I bet you I bet you I'm gonna be 10 times better because of this I keep my faith I'm still gonna slim down Stay focused. Focus on them goals. Focus on what you want. Anything's possible. Anything. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Yambi. All right, so we're gonna talk about a little bit of, um, talk about a little bit of stuff with, with Yambi, you know, what's the, the benefits of using Yambi and what's like the downfalls of using Yambi. Um, so since I've been kind of working on my health a little bit, I've started to do things all natural like seriously all natural, like going back to the herbs of the land, actually. So nowadays I make herbal teas, um, which benefit you as far as working out, building muscle, um, burning fat, those things. Yambi is one of those uh, herbs that can help you with burning fat, um, increasing your testosterone levels. Also, it can... Um, it also can help you sexually as well. Um, give you a nice nice blood flow to, to all areas in the body. However, however, um, something I want to talk about with Yambi is that I don't necessarily um, support using Yambi because of the side effects. Every herb has its side effects and some some more than others. But Yambi is kind of dangerous because if you use it in excess and you use too much of it, you can end up getting like heart palpitations. And these this is from personal experience. So I actually know this. Uh, when I was younger, I used to use it a lot. Like I used to think that, oh, this was the way to go as far as um, burning fat, increasing my testosterone levels. There's so many other herbs out there that can increase it. Yambi is one of those ones that if you're willing to take the risk, it does what's supposed to, but it causes headaches. It causes dizziness. You can get dehydrated quick. Um, it can definitely cause heart palpitations. So, um, um, so basically my view on using Yambi, um, as far as the herb, um, and using it in capsules or even in its purest form, I, I think, um, I don't suggest it because there's a lot of other options out there, but you can use it and it does work. It does do what it's supposed to do as far as increasing certain levels. Um, but I necessarily don't use it because um not only does it do that but um does it do some of the side effects i talked about but it does raise your blood pressure as well but i'm also gonna you know share with you that it does increase um it is stim a stimulant so it does wake you up it does get you to move it um definitely uh does help you as far as libido it does help you as far as um um giving you the energy you need but it's just got when you you're starting to work out your your heart may pump just too fast so this is what yambi looks like this is a yambi bark so it's uh it's brown as you see um they cut the bark of the yambi and you can use it to put into to water um put into like warm water let it sit and drink it as an herbal tea you can get it in supplement form um in capsules um you can even create a tincture as well um but um i would say the most effective way to use yambi is probably going to be teas and capsule forms but you want to make the capsules yourself because you never know what else they mix in there with capsules that you buy at the store it may not be in its purest form or it may be um 
it may be a proprietary blend where it's not telling you exactly how much yambi is in each capsule and that can be dangerous as well because too much yambi in excess causes the side effects to go higher it can also cause nervousness and you know cause you mentally to go a little crazy um, so I definitely definitely um, will recommend if you use yambi use it a, a little bit of it if you're gonna use it and it does do what it says but um, if you start feeling the side effects of yambi then don't use it anymore because it, 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 it can kill you at the end of the day it can kill you as well um, I know that there's certain countries that have actually banned yambi uh, i believe the uk has banned yambi and some other countries have banned yambi as well because of the side effects of yambi and because it's not that good like it's it's not worth using and then causing harm to your body so we want to stay stay with certain herbs that cause purity to your body that helps your body that gets you stronger and that gets you healthier so we kind of want to go on the side of increasing increasing the lifespan let's you we don't want to deplete the lifespan um crazy thing in the other news man so i've i've always been a lakers fan um been a lakers fan for quite some time uh all my life since i was born favorite color purple uh lebron james going to the lakers crazy absolutely nuts um i'm not a lebron james fan um as far as like i'm not one of the people who jump on his bandwagon and be like oh lebron james i'm, I'm gonna wherever lebron goes i love him i'm not like that i'm actually a lakers fan um grew up with the kobe era love kobe um i respect lebron james talent i think he's very talented player um he's a very talented basketball player i actually like him as far as a person i feel like he's very humble and he does a lot for the community so i think that's awesome um la having it my team i've got to learn how to uh put all aside how you know my certain feelings about lebron playing in the game and i'm comparing him to jordan and all that um but i think it's good for my team i mean for Los Angeles, I think it's definitely good that LeBron James is on the Lakers now. I am curious to see how he works with Alonzo Ball and if that increases Alonzo Ball's game. Because, of course, you know, his first year he got pummeled. Uh, my boy Kuzma is is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think his skill is amazing. I think in a couple years he'll be one of the All-Stars, one of the greatest players. Um, and that's on the series. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to say like, yeah, what's wrong with you? Why do you believe that? But I think personally that um, LeBron James being on team and just in the practices and things like that, they can actually help our team. And since he's going to be on the L.A. Lakers, you know, I got to like him. I mean, as long as he's on my team and he starts, uh, you know, us winning, gives us championships again, gives us, you know, hope for um playoffs and and he does things that he's done for cleveland um and with other players coming on as well which is crazy like all the trades that are happening this year is definitely a game changer i'm happy because we will not see a repeat of the playoffs that we've been seeing Warriors, Cavs, Warriors, Cavs, Cavs, Warriors, Cavs, Warriors, Warriors, Cavs, you know, OKC, Cavs, OKC, Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we seen repeats constantly, so I'm ready for something new, and I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm just excited to see this season, period, because it, it's going to be dope, I know it's going to be dope, um, so that's definitely a plus, uh, other than that, guys, um, I'm definitely going to come at you guys with more stuff as far as uh herbs are concerned so this is the first herb we go we went over so it's yambi um 
I definitely will list out all of the benefits, but I will also list out all of the side effects so you guys know about this. But try to get back into your roots. So your roots, people have been using herbs forever. Native Americans, um, Africans, Europeans, everybody has used herbs naturally at some point. And I believe that if we go back to using the herbs, that it will actually help enhance us. There's so many things out there that we can cure and we can prevent our body from getting if we go back to a natural phase. So definitely that's why I'm starting to feel like my name should be the herbologist. Um, Y'all know me as Tay Let's Get Fit. Definitely, I mean, it's on the shirt. And, and that's not the only thing that I believe in. And I've been doing this for quite a while. I started it um, actually a couple years ago. Um, started using herbal teas but I was still using supplements and now I kind of eliminated using supplements as far as working out right now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hurt so I can't really do the workouts that I used to be able to do you know a while ago but I definitely still am walking and um, I've been walking on the track uh, it's kind of in the background but I definitely walk so I walk and get my workout there um, versus not getting any type of workout at all. Um, so walking is definitely great. Jump rope is great too as well. Um, but I take more breaks. Uh, I, I can't do six days a week yet, but I'm going to work back up to it because I believe I can work back up. But yeah, so kind of pushing it, um, doing some things. Uh, but when I did, uh, find herbs and start using them and eliminating supplements the supplements I took away um, were things that are not necessary like I, I don't use pre-workouts no more and I probably won't ever use pre-workouts anymore um, not saying that you shouldn't because there's some dope pre-workouts out there and I definitely felt good when I was using them but as far as my health is concerned I kind of more so use uh do supplements just to uh, use herbs just to 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 as my pre workout. So I got like two types of herb teas. I make one is called Strong Like a Bull, and uh, that one definitely works. That you take, you can take beforehand before working out. And, and the like other herbs. one is called Mister Incredible. But that's enough about those. Um, I will definitely come back to you guys with some more herbs and then uh, break down some herbal teas that you can make to burn fat and help burn fat. Uh, like subscribe man and uh comment like subscribe whatever man i i, I pre appreciate anybody's support especially especially um if you guys are paying attention to this but i just kind of want to educate the people on natural herbs and i want to educate you guys on 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 things that you can use besides using supplements um i definitely will talk to you guys about some herbs that i still do use i mean some uh supplements that i still do use but That'll be later on. Um, so right now, uh, it's P.O.Y. Kali coming at you. Tay Let's Get Fit coming at you. The herbologist. Um, it's definitely video one. So let's keep talking.